Okay, after a very brief game one, we got a game two between MVAKM and Caesar. I say Caesar, Mastro playing Caesar, I should say. Got that Colgate teal color going on. You know, I bet Caesar has some lovely shiny white teeth. And meanwhile, MVAKM, they're playing Zawin in the red once again, and they're taking it to Gilgamesh for game two. And hopefully we get a bit more of a game this time. Unfortunately, game one ended with a misclick on turn three, and uh, they did not regame, so we are going to see how it plays out. And MVAKM has built all of their units on turn three, and like I don't want to be mean or anything, so no more jokes about game one, but... We're actually going to get a, a proper game this time. And I'm very happy about that. Because I think MVAKM actually is a really good player. And they've been playing super well this tournament so far. So I'm excited to see more gameplay of them. We've got the knight build. So they're going to go knight into Caesar. And Caesar has their own knight. So you see a clash of the heavy hitting units on the right hand side. Meanwhile... Mastro actually just kind of leaving this village alone on the left. Maybe we'll see the sword contest when there's just a sword there. But I'm not going to see that yet. And RP Maze comes out? Yeah, it makes sense. Ooh, we're going to see first unit to fall. Swords go down. going to leave a little bit of time for this village to gain health here on the top right. Astro takes first blood. And will NVA game respond? Okay, they're just going to... Take this village down, flip that as well. They're keeping up the pace reasonably well so far, but... Doing so without... Oh, actually, the hideout gets captured. Master also going to go for the hideout capture. I guess they're preparing for potentially like a longer game state. Thieves and rifles actually being available on both sides. Okay, what's the play here? Maybe the game could be aggressive, but no, it decides not to. And I think that's the right choice. Like. There's just a little bit too much backing up this army over here. And ideally, if you are going to be aggressive with Zarwan, you're going to wait until you have vines. And 91% on Groove, so... You know, that option is available. Balloon. Bring some stuff to the front line, I think. Bring some spears. Can't quite reach over here just yet, so... We're not going to see too much in that regard. And Mastro has taken the side. Caesar has tier 1 now. There's some units that go well with it. You know, you've got this mage. Some swords. Like, there's a couple spears over here. We could potentially see something. And, oh! I like this. MVAKM is going to force a decision to be made. Is it worth popping a Caesar tier 1 to kill this harpy? And I'm guessing the answer to that question is probably not. Because all of this forces over here, and Zawan has tier 1, so... What's Master going to do? They're going to surround the Harpy? Ooh, I like this play, actually. It's a nice bait. However, this does mean that, you know, all of these units are being used to hold one unit in place. And it is going to cost a sword for doing that. And while that happens, we're going to see MVAKM go forward. Bold move coming out here. Because all of a sudden... This is a very vulnerable looking Zawan. He might die for this actually. Open on three sides? One of those is a suicide tile. Harpy crit is available. Got Caesar with Groove. Okay, Inspire comes out, and now we're gonna see. I think this balloon goes down. And is there just gonna be enough damage here? Okay.
Okay, we can punish this one spear. It's not gonna see anything on Sawan. Of significance anyway. Harpy crits, you know, a nice chunk of damage, but I think he actually loses the harpy for doing that. We're gonna see some counter pressure put on here and oh i mean master's got double golem behind this there is gonna be tier two in the near future so you know how is this gonna go first spear goes down we're gonna see dog crit nicely done tier two groove Nature's already available cry. Ooh, caesar tier one is not as good as zawa in tier two and this is actually looking really nice for mvakm right now the only thing is like Zawan has to be protected and yeah, there we go. Really nice play coming out there and yeah, even you gotta chip that golem for some extra damage. And I think this is fine. I think Zawan is nice and secure behind all of this. And now Master has to fight through it. He's doing an okay job so far, you know, getting some damage on this knight. I think it's gonna go down to something else after this. Yeah, we're gonna see more units getting killed. Full health swords doing its job and remember about these swords. I think they could have maybe come a bit forward while all this was going on, but not the end of the world and Ooh, Golem gonna walk in? No, it's gonna walk back. Makes sense. And now you have all of these vines, one sword goes down already. You're gonna see more vines getting moved around. Lots of damage, but oh, this is a bit of an awkward position because now all of a sudden. Oh, well, never mind. I was going to be like, oh, you know, all of a sudden, like, you can't kill stuff, but that was actually a, a nice hit. And actually, a really nice hit on this mage because now this balloon can wall effectively. It's still got all these vines. Caesar is not close to having group. So they're going to have to be aggressive and in use themselves during all of this. And I'm just taking a quick look at the money situation. I think it's actually pretty even right now. So it's not like Master is buying time to get an econ lead. It really is just they have some golems. I think they can able, they're going to be able to use those. And they're just going to back up a bit. They don't want to take more fine damage than they have to. Obviously, you're just gonna go for free hits with these vines. And the archer is getting so much value during all this as well, it has to be noted. And now, more units coming forwards. Golem's gonna go in for a hit. It's gonna do a lot of damage to Caesar. But I think, do you back this up with a mage shield? Yes, you do. I actually wonder, like, is that one going to be close to another tier? Yeah, he is. Oh, and good hit on that mage once more. Okay, you are kind of trading units to do hits on the mages, but you're also getting so much value out of these vines. Oh, the archer gets a, a big hit from that dog, though. And I think this is going to be the last turn most of these vines are going to be alive for. Nice mage heal. <clears throat> These are, yeah, once again, going to get a hit. They're actually going to be building up to... <clears throat> already at tier 1. Tier 2 does take a while. Ooh, Archer goes down. Do not like to see that. I don't know if that vine's dead or not. And, ooh, Archer of his own. MV AKM is going to have to deal with taking a lot of damage right there. Okay, big mage heal comes in again. Oh, nice dog crit though. I think we're just gonna see a few more of those and oh, this archer's dead as well. And oh, is this the end of the stronghold? Nature's it might very well be. I think like vines just wall up. And this might actually be the end of the stronghold. I guess like Caesar technically has a tier one, but is that going to be enough? Okay, nice use of the air trooper. Fix off the mage as well. 
This mage back here is in range. Okay, double golem. This is pretty spooky. I think two of these sides are going to be open. And there's a lot of vines, so... Can MVKM kill this stronghold? I think you can. I mean, there is the question of do you kill the stronghold or do you just go for the army? Yeah, fine, just gonna move out of the way. Dog? Onto the stronghold? I guess he's just gonna clear golems? Oh no, changes his mind halfway through? I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, that's going to be so much counter-attack damage. Now, I want to take a quick look at the timer. 32 minutes left on the clock. I don't know if he needed to... hit this golem like he did. I'm very concerned. I think he might just be dead. Big Mage Hill comes in. Clears that vine. Clears this other vine. I'm not sure. I'm very confused as well. I don't know why you would hit with the dog on the stronghold. And oh no, the refresh into the suicide, I believe. Yep. And that's going to be a very low health commander. Mage Hill comes in. And I think that's a night crit. Is that going to be enough? It is. Oh, that's so unfortunate. And then VAKM falls. It was so good up until that point. And then he just hits an enemy golem that can counterattack crit. I feel like in this situation, you dedicate and kill the opponent's golem. Or you go all in on the stronghold, like either or. And I feel like if he'd hit enemy stronghold with his commander instead of that dog, put the vines below and just hit with the golem and had the other golem like hit this golem here. All he needs to do is hit like the stronghold one more time with commander and he wins. And I, I, I feel so bad because that is like such a one state for the game. And he just at the last minute opens himself up to a lethal and I gotta give huge props to MVAKM I know I was poking fun at him a bit at the start but he played so well this game and could have absolutely taken it but Mastro spots an opening that his opponent leaves for him and just takes it and yeah I mean like that is gotta give props to Mastro for like Seeing a lethal, he played pretty well up until that point as well. He was in a losing position, but finds an opening and, and takes it. So well played to Mastro, but I would have absolutely loved to have seen MVAKM win this game. I would have loved to have seen it go through a game three. And honestly, like if MVAKM had won the set, I would love to have seen more from him as well. Like, we haven't gotten a huge amount of opportunity to watch too much of MVAKM this this tournament he did get two buys in the lower bracket just it happened to work out that the two people that had to drop out of the event um were his uh, lower bracket opponents but the games we did see i enjoyed and i hope we get to see more from mvacm in the future so uh, ggs